All right, hello, my name is Ray. Uh, looks like, did you fall? Yes. Okay, what, is, is it your wrist that's hurting? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna take a look at it and okay. uh, see what's wrong, okay? Thank you. What happened? Oh, at the club and you fell? I you slipped? I just fell. Oh, no. But I caught my fall. Okay, all right. So uh, first, let's look. Uh, are you able to scoot over to your left a little bit more? All right, good. And I'm gonna put this board under you here, okay? okay. I'm gonna maybe lower this down a little bit here. Okay. Here we go, one, two, three. There you go. You doing all right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this board under your wrist here, okay? I'm just gonna kind of help you up here. Good, doing all right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down there, good. All right, great. All right, just gonna take a look right here. Hold still. Okay. So, um, are you able to turn your wrist at all to the left? No. Okay. All right, so, hmm, let's see here. That's okay, we're just gonna move around you here. Thank you. No problem. still all right so now I'm going to take this out from your wrist here I'm gonna lift up your arm here, put this under. I'm gonna bring this up here. There you go. Are you able to hold this here with your left arm? Yeah, thank you. Just turn your arm just a little bit more to your left if you can, kind of, there you go. Good, hold very still. Okay, we're all done. Take about 30 minutes for your results, okay? And just move some stuff around here. So to x-ray the wrist, it may sound easy, and it is. But if you have little experience, you are running some obstacles. Let me clear them for you. Now, there are several ways to x-ray your patient's wrist in a gurney. This is just one. 
Ideally, if my patient were able to, I'd have them swing their legs over, use a Mayo stand and use it as a table and x-ray it that way. However, my patient's wrist is immobilized. immobilized. <laughs> However, my patient's wrist is immobilized. It can't move and they may be drugged up a little. So I'll just take the situation into my hands and work around my patient. First, I'll lower my patient's head to get a flat surface, move them over so I have enough surface area for my image receptor to lie on, and then place the IR under the arm. Okay, you wanna lay it down there, good. All right, great. Now, if you're used to shooting your AP or PA first, this may throw you off. In reality, you don't have to shoot them first. You can simply start off with what your patient gives you or whatever position you want. Just make sure it's under the correct position. Shoot the oblique under the oblique, the PA under the PA. In this case, my patient's arm is naturally lying in an oblique. I'll take that first. Hold still. I then asked if she's able to rotate her arm into a PA. Unfortunately, she cannot. No worries. I simply match the angle of the wrist with my tube. All right, hold very still. Now for the cross table lateral. This should be easy, right? Just place the image receptor on the other side of the wrist and shoot. Technically, you would be right. However, you'll run into an obstacle. But before we get to that, I turn my bed so the patient's arm is perpendicular with the two. This may look like a minor step. However, it's important because my tube doesn't rotate in small increments. This one I'm actually using rotates in increments of 45 degrees. So it'll be very difficult to match my tube to my patient's arm. But because I'm able to freely rotate my patient on the bed, this is the best option. Now, since she's not able to rotate her wrist, it's not gonna be a true lateral. Okay, so we just angle the tube, right? Yes and no. If we just angle the tube the, uh, the bed will be in the way. So we must prop her arm up to uh, get it high enough to clear the bed. Nah, bro, that sponge is way too tall. Usually a rolled up towel will do. No towel? You can always use a glove box. This will always, or should be, in every room. Now, just place the image receptor on the other side of the wrist. Ask your patient to hold it. If they can't, just tape it up. Just turn your arm just a little bit more to your left if you can. Kind of, there you go. Good, hold very still. Okay, we're all done. Take about 30 minutes for your results, okay? And just move some stuff around here. And that is how you x-ray a wrist and a gurney. I was actually observing a student do a similar exam. When they first shot their image, they thought it was a PA. But because of how the patient's arm was naturally rotated, like we demonstrated today, um, they were actually going to repeat it because they're so conditioned to shoot the PA first. Like it has to be a PA. But instead I told them, it's all good. We can just use that as our oblique. Go back in there, angle the tube, and get a PA. Now if you found this video helpful, press that like button, subscribe for max break content, and share this video with others who may find it valuable. Head over to xraybreak.com and grab yourself a technique card when you need that ballpark technique in the clutch. And also check out the closing section and cop some merch if you are so inclined to. I promise this will all get easier, but you need to get your reps in. Stop being afraid to mess up. You are learning. It's to be expected, but make sure you learn from your mistakes and grow. 
Why did you make the mistake? What can you do next time to avoid it? This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. You have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your x-rays. I love. Peace.